I was lost. I did not know the repercussions. When I came back to this, this war, I was ill-equipped to deal with the army before me. But I prayed to the gods to give unto me a blessing. Five things, five truths, five wants. With these equipped under my arsenal, I finally had a fighting chance. So I took up arms and headed into battle. I wonder, will I ever see my home again? Will I feel the warmth of my lover's bosom? Will I ever find myself at the top? So, you know, as a returning Yu-Gi-Oh player, it's been like a decade. I remember JoJo and I standing in line, just, you know, trying to buy our like Yu-Gi and Kaiba starter decks. And then we stopped playing. And we are here back in 2019. And these are my five top things that I wish I knew as a returning Yu-Gi-Oh player. So, I was actually thinking about it too. It's been 10 years since I played Yu-Gi-Oh! And now that I got back into it, I know what the right thing is. And I wish I knew that, like 10 years ago, just like Susie I just mentioned right now. Um, like, don't buy a steel product. Don't buy like those $50 structure deck or $50 just a uh, steel product, uh, like booster boxes. And really just buy a single the one that you need in order to save the money for other stuff. So we're gonna talk about that right now. All right, so like we mentioned before, these are the five top things I wish I knew as a returning Yu-Gi-Oh player, right? That yeah, we wish we actually knew before then. Right, because I spent a lot of money. <laughs> Joe, how much How much have we... I don't want to... I don't even want to no, think no, about don't it. Don't disclose it. Don't <laughs> I don't, don't want to think about it. <laughs> Speaking of money, so my, the, the first thing that I wish I knew was to stay away from uh, like sealed products right. and like bulk eBay purchases. Right, I, that's a stupid man. Guess, no. you know, I went on eBay. I, when I, cause uh, when I first came back to Yu-Gi-Oh, I went on eBay and I bought those like, oh, 50 cards for- Random like, cards. Ra uh, random cards. That was the, and I bought a lot of those. Like I spent, I think a hundred dollars on bulk like Yu-Gi-Oh purchases. It was the worst idea ever. Now, what I did before then uh, was like, I think I actually bought three boxes of Dark Magician. Like the Yu-Gi-Oh that you give it. <laughs> I'm like, I need all three Dark Magician because that's what you're allowed. Okay, okay. And before then, I think I bought another set of a set to Kyber deck. Okay. To get the ultimate dragon going. <laughs> yeah, so um, if you don't know, there are great resources online like tcgplayer.com. Uh -huh. Hashtag, please sponsor us. Yes. Troll and Toad. <laughs> Troll and Toad, yes. There's a lot of great websites and resources online where you can buy the cards that you need. Right, it's 2019 now, so a lot of system has changed. Right. And a lot of websites is actually um, you know, selling these trading cards, whether it be Amazon as well, eBay right. yep, is still yep. doing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I, yeah, I, I really love tcgplayer.com. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a dope site. It's a dope, it's, Cards, also, so TCG Player isn't always the cheapest site. No, it's not. But there's a lot of like trusted sellers on there. Mm -hmm. And I personally feel like it's better than buying on eBay. Right, it's accessibility that matters right now. Right. So that leads me to our second thing, mm -hmm. which is find a deck that you enjoy playing or that you feel like you would enjoy playing, right? Right. And it's actually, it comes down to how, what your characteristic is. I think that's what it is right now. Right, because Joe likes to take control. Yes. Okay. So Joe, um, his first deck that I, I actually built for him was a Layer of Darkness deck. It's a dope deck. Um, but then I introduced to him Sky Strikers, and now he's just like, uh, mm -hmm. I am Sky Striker Jesus. Change everything. Um, Layer of Darkness, drop. No, it's not drop. I'm going to update it. But Sky, Sh Sky Striker is so fun to play for me. And that leads to what you really love to play, which is True Draco. I like True Draco. I, I am also a control type player. I know I don't look like it. I know, I know this. Like, I'm huge. Like, I look like, let me let me throw down Obelisk the Tormentor. To be fair, uh -huh. if Obelisk was viable in today's meta, <laughs> no. I, I, honestly, I would play like a god deck. Oh. I would, I would. No, we should actually think about, you know, yeah. building a god deck. We, we should. We, we have the cards, you know, we from the, the golden 10 right here. Yeah. So yeah, find the deck that you like. 
I mean, you don't necessarily have to play like a tier one deck. No, you don't. You okay. could actually play rogue deck. Yeah, rogue decks. Even tier two is pretty good. Mm -hmm. But if you want to play competitively, then yeah. tier two plus. Tier two plus. Tier two plus. Definitely recommended. Even if you want to build their other decks, completely recommended. Just like YCS 2019 finals. There were a lot of other decks. Yeah, there was a bunch of decks in that tournament. Mm -hmm. It was insane. But Sky Striker still take the first place. Then Orcus. A lot of Orcus players, actually. So that leads me to my third rule, okay? Yeah. So <clears throat> when Joe and I, we came back into Yu-Gi-Oh, we still were playing via anime rules. Yeah, man. Just someone that 3,000 uh, 3, attack monster. Okay, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that back, bad. Way back in there. So uh, that leads me to my third thing, right? Which is the rule. The, rule. the actual rule. When we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh, we were on Master Rule Zero. There were there were no rules. Okay, we there were sacrifice system, like, you know, four stars. You could just summon right away, then you could summon, um, yeah, you know the rule, you know the rules. Yeah. So now we're in Master Rule 4, mm -hmm. if you don't know. Uh, with the introduction of Link yes. Monsters, uh, we were introduced Master Rule 4. It took Joe and I, I think, a solid week of dedicated studying to, like, not be completely incompetent. Scrubbish. <laughs> okay? If you watch our live duels, we make a ton of mistakes. Like, yes. and I mean a ton. Guys, we read your comments. Yes, there were a lot of illegal plays. Yes, there was a lot of misplays. But that doesn't mean my wins are invalid though, okay? Because I still won fair and square, nope. okay? Try to practice with um, somebody yeah, that right. knows the rules, right? Like invite somebody who knows the rules or someone who's willing to quote unquote judge for you. Right, and just like the YGO Pro, um, it gives very good instruction. It does. But it doesn't really tell you the rules. Right. It does it for you. Right. Which is, in my opinion, not the right way to learn the game. I think you need to learn by playing and making the mistake. So once you know what the mistake is, you don't make it anymore. Right. So maybe we should recommend the Dueling Books? Dueling Book is an online platform where you can actually call a judge into your duel. Right. Which is really cool. So you have a referee there, and you have a lot of you know uh, system that's in there as well that you could have option to do a lot of plays. Right. So I'm um, like, well, I mean, we'll have like a dueling book um, like scene up for you right now. But um, as you can see, when you're playing with an opponent, you actually type out um, you know the move you're doing. So. If you're tributing, you have to say tributing. I'm tributing. I'm tributing, and the, and the, and the other player will say okay, fine. And oh, then okay. and then you know and then Joe will say hold on. Ash blossom. Ash blossom. You know, and then <laughs> and then he'd type an ash blossom effect question mark, and I'd be like okay, you fine. know what I mean. So dueling book is actually a good resource, where if you don't know the rules and there's a player on the other side of the computer screen that is willing to kind of walk you through it. And if you both can't come to a conclusion, you can call a judge in. That's right. And you know, just it's all about learning the how you play the game, just like we have before. I think you you say about a week, but I think I took about a month. <laughs> like, it was pretty com complex, like quick play card, quick spell, um, counter traps. It's I'm just like, what? 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 What's faster? What? What is going on? So is it quick effect from a monster, quick effect from a magic spell card, or quick effect from a counter trap? Right. I, I think what Joe had the what actually what Joe and I both had a lot of trouble with was the way the way chain resolves. Yes. It, it, yeah. You have to just re let the, the later card resolve first. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Three, three two, two, one. one. There you go. Um, so that actually leads us into our next topic. Yes. So before buying the physical deck. Um, make sure to practice it on YGO Pro and Dueling Book, just like we said before. Yeah. Um, so you don't want to, um, you know, waste a, money. Yeah, waste right? money and build a deck that you didn't actually want to build, and then you played it, and it's like, <sighs> I spent hundred fifty dollars on this deck. I can't go back. I have to buy another deck. Nope. Look at this. We can't carry this much decks around. Okay, listen. We're a YouTube channel that focuses on Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment. Uh -huh. And these decks are an investment to the channel, yep. right? It didn't come from the trees. We know you're not made of money. So basically, what you want to do is make sure you practice the deck online. Right. And make sure that this deck is a viable option for you. Mm -hmm. So for our fifth and final tip to returning Yu-Gi-Oh players mm -hmm. is this. After you test, after no, after you buy the deck. Well, yeah, after you test and buy the real deck, because mm -hmm. you think the deck is dope. Yeah, right, like right. Sky Striker. No, nope. okay. So, <laughs> um, afterwards, when you have the real deck, find somewhere to play and play test, test, test. 
test. Okay, because listen, I had no one to play with because I'm a, I'm more of a, I don't look like I play Yu-Gi-Oh! And oh, he gets it a lot. Yeah, so I would be, I'd basically be sitting at home just doing this. I would shuffle the cards, mm -hmm. draw five, and play against myself. Yeah. So yeah. Um, <laughs> the best person to play against your, uh, you is probably yourself. Well, no. Mm, not Cause really. then, if you, okay, first of all, you only have one deck, so you're playing against an imaginary person. But uh, no, real talk. Find a local that's close by, or, or you know, a friend. Yeah, or a friend. Yeah. Right. How do you think this started? This all started. Hey. Right? Find a local that's close by where people, because the people at locals will teach you how to play better. Unless you've like created like this deck from scratch, other people have already played the deck. Yeah. Um, a lot of people actually, you know not like us but they stay with the game and they know about the rules and they are pretty much bothered when you don't know the rules right so that's one of the things um, right they might be a little bothered but i mean i'll tell you right now um if, if someone who knew less than me came up to me at local i mean i would i would sit down and teach them for sure yes being a good friend team or, Jojo. Ooh, team Jojo. no but um at locals they also have judges at locals they do they do mm. um and like i said before there are players who've piloted the deck before you and may know more than you do. So learn to kind of learn from them so that you know you can one day help somebody else learn the deck as well. Hey, just like this guy, it's me right now. I taught him everything wrong so I can win the live duels. Oh, he doesn't know it yet. What? I know he's sitting next to me, but he's not here right now. We shot this in two, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how he's been winning the, all the live duels. <laughs> it's true. It's true. In a legal place. Mm -hmm. um, oh, but yeah, man. so those are our top five things that we um, wish we knew when we return to Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, what we we wish wish we, we knew. yeah we <laughs> wish we knew exactly. So all right, guys. So make sure you stay tuned to our channel because we're trying a lot of different things. And actually, like I love lists. Okay, like I love a good list. When I go grocery shopping, I have a list. It just says me. That's it. That's usually what's on the list. So um, we want to see if we can incorporate some like top ten, top fives. Oh, top fives, thanks for it. Yeah. So if you have any like ideas of like. Um, top 10 or 5 kind of like tutorials and like I wish I knew let us know in the comment section down below and also maybe top decks that you actually like to see us play yeah yeah I, I, we could you could do that yeah no no money just rains down from the heavens for us yeah allowing but... us to buy multiple decks <laughs> oh, no. but so, yeah just make so, sure to comment down below yeah. um, what the future series that we want to actually have for us to do because um we want to give you content that you guys actually want to watch right okay and that's just what we want to make out of nowhere yeah so um listen the more likes we get the more cards fall from the sky anyway so that's it for today's episode yeah, we yeah. will catch you in the next one this is susu from head to head battles and jojo from head to head battles wait hit the notification bell signing Woo! out